Welcome back to Golf New England. I'm Mike Dowling here at the Willow Bend Country Club alongside Marion and Bill McInerney, who have taken one shot at $50,000, and uh, Bill won that one. Uh, you can do better than your shot, can't you? I think so. I, he told me he hit a three iron, but I think it's a four iron. Oh, so it's his fault. It could be. Could okay, be. okay, okay. We're going to let you go down <laughs> to the women's tee and prepare for your shot, and we're going to let Bill take off. The club you used last time was Six a... Six iron. You can stick with that? I think so, yeah. You were about 35 feet heavy. last time. Yeah, I hit a little heavy, so uh -huh. I'm going to try to get a little more up in the air okay. and let it drift into the hole. Let me ask you, are you nervous at all? No. You're shooting I'll for $100,000. I'll be more nervous on the third one if I win it. <laughs> if you're not, okay, we'll get up there and let's hope you get nervous. Okay. From 180 yards away, this is for $100,000. And bragging rights inside the, in the house. That's a pretty good shot. That's better than uh, a little bit short, huh? Did you hit a little fat? A little heavy, yeah. Uh-huh. Same club next time, you think? I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. You can do better than that, Marion, can't you? Yeah, I huh? think so. Yeah. 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 So you've gone to a uh, four iron? Four iron now, yep. Okay. Yep. And wind, are you going to hit it a little bit left and let it come in, do you think, Probably, or not? Yeah, use the wind a little bit. Let it drift a little right. Okay. Step up there and hit it. 169 yards away. She will try to get inside 50 feet, 7 inches is how far her husband hit that last shot. Oops. I think it was the dreaded blade. <laughs> trying to get too much out of that four now. <laughs> That's right. Now you might go you back, to, go the back to the three. So right. maybe he did give you the correct yeah, advice. I think I need right. to take a little off of the three, not okay. use the four. Yeah. Were you a little tense, maybe? A little tight. Yeah? A little tight, yeah. What, what do you think a million bucks will do to your nervousness? Uh, I won't even think of it really? this time, next time. Okay. Hi, do you feel good about beating her too straight? Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, do you? <laughs> Okay, well, he's won the Battle of the Sexes, but we will be back with the battle for $1 million in just a few minutes. Welcome to Top Flight's State of the Game. Okay, golf fans, what are you doing here? Your drive has come to rest either on or next to a leaf. Well, let's find out from a man who knows, the assistant director of the MGA, Tom Landry. Tom, give us a ruling on this. Okay, Ken, in this case, the ball has come to rest next to a leaf which is considered a loose impediment. Uh -huh. Loose impediments are any kind of natural objects on the golf course, leaves, twigs, branches, provided they aren't fixed and growing. Okay. So in this case, the player will be able to remove the leaf very carefully. Should the ball move, he'd be subject to penalty. But he can remove the leaf without the ball moving and continue play of the hole. Good luck. Well, Tom, typical situation in the wind down here on Cape Cod. What's my options? Well, I'll tell you what, Mark, you're gonna be entitled to relief from this loose impediment. Uh, be very careful if the ball doesn't move in removing it. If you do, you'd be subject to a one-stroke penalty, but you're okay. All right. And continue play. Now, Tom, what happens if he lands in a bunker on a leaf? That's a great question, Ken. Uh, in that case, he would not be entitled to relief from the loose impediment. If your ball comes to rest next to a loose impediment in a bunker or a hazard, you're not entitled to remove that loose impediment. On the green, you get relief, though. You're getting better at this. You've got a good <laughs> understanding for it. The rules are there to help you. Uh, they can not only save you strokes, but uh, obviously avoid penalties. Just remember, golf is just a game, but if you're going to play the game, play by the rules. Nick Faldo sits down with Paul Harbert, and Bill and Marion swing away for $1 million. Whether you choose our bar, lounge, or dining room, for lunch or for dinner, you can always count on splendid service, great atmosphere, and terrific food. Now, there are other establishments that offer these same amenities, but not one of them offers a main course quite like ours. Right now at Ideal, New England's largest flooring superstore, we're having the deal of a lifetime. 
No money down, no monthly payments, and no interest payments for one full year. That's right, one full year. At Ideal, our prices are always 30, 40, 50, even up to 60% off on all carpet, tile, hardwood, and vinyl. And don't forget about our complete window treatment center. Visit Ideal, the flooring superstore in East Falmouth and now in it's Newton. It's Ideal. Floors and windows, it's Ideal. Now it's time for Paul Harbour to take a look at the personalities that make this game great in this week's Pinpoints. Never give up. Yogi Berra said, it ain't over until it's over. And it's true in golf, too. Remember the Ryder Cup at Oak Hill? Curtis Strange had a big lead over Nick Faldo on the final day, but Faldo came back and won. It cost America the Ryder Cup. Hi, everybody. I'm Paul Harbour for Golf New England. And when you're in one of these situations where you'd like to give up, don't. Nick Faldo didn't, and look what happened to him. Besides his comeback victory over Strange, Faldo has always played well down the stretch. How about his victory at the Masters? Faldo didn't give up there either. Sure, Greg Norman fell apart like a cheap suit, but lost in Norman's self-destruction was an outstanding performance by Faldo. I think now as time's gone on, I've, I'm being recognized for... For what I shot, I shot, as you said, I shot 67. It's the lowest round of the weekend. I shot 12 under. We know what happened to Greg. I still beat Phil Nicholson by six. We all know where the finishing post is in golf. It's that 72nd hole, and you've just got to get there. When Faldo played at Paul Feynman's charity tournament at Willow Bend this year, it was his first visit to Massachusetts since 1988 when he played in the U.S. Open at the Country Club in Brookline. Faldo and Curtis Strange were tied after 72 holes and went into a playoff. I remember I played great tee to green and putted lousy. That was the bottom line of that week. So, and I was young and that was all, you know, that was a very new experience coming out to play an 18 hole sudden death for the US Open. Faldo knows you can't win all the time and knows that golfers have slumps. When he has problems, he goes to his shopping list. The most important thing is to probably, is to analyze it and, and have some sort of little routine or not so much routine, a little, I call it like my shopping list, you know, if you need to work on your bunker play, right, keep working on that till it's good and then keep chipping away at, at your game till hopefully, you know, you can't fix your golf game overnight. So before you tee it up in a big tournament, check over your shopping list. Get in the hole. I'm Paul Harbour for Golf New England. Welcome back to Golf New England. I'm Mike Dowling here at the Willow Bend Country Club with the McInerney's so who are going to try for one million dollars. Bill, first let me ask you, you've played this course before. Yes. Yeah, when yeah. was the last time you played? Uh, about a year ago. And when was the most uh, suspicious time you played? Uh, the day Marion and I got married. <laughs> and how many holes did you get in? 18. 18 while you were home fixing your hair and everything yes, else. Yes. So there's did. something wrong with that picture, isn't yeah, there? Yeah, I actually wanted to play with him that day, but <laughs> I wasn't supposed to see him. I so. hope he had a lousy round. <laughs> I don't remember. I think he did play well. <laughs> okay, Bill, you get up the men's tee. I don't want to talk to you. You imagine that, playing 18 holes, man after my own heart, on uh, the day he's getting married. Okay, so what club are you going to use here from 169 yards? Going back to my three iron. Three iron, which was a little bit long, yeah. the first, a little bit to the right. Mm -hmm. But you bladed that. You had to the throw that court. I yeah, it went in the water, it. didn't it, after right. you hit it? Okay. Yeah. Marion, step right up and hit it for a million bucks. One hundred and sixty-nine yards away here at the sixteenth hole at Willow Bend. For one million dollars. That's a lot better if it's got enough, does it? It does have enough. That's a very good shot. That's how you should hit that it the first two. Yeah, that, was, that better. was better. You hit that good, huh? That's probably about 15 feet. Well, At least you, you end up with the final bragging rights. Your husband hopefully. can't get better than that, can he? Uh, hopefully not. Okay, well, let's go find out. Nice shot, Marion. Pressure's on, Bill. Yeah. I know you beat her the first two times, but... Uh, that was 14 feet, 3 inches. You know, the, the, no, the, the only thing people remember is your last shot. You know right, that. Right. Okay. <laughs> 14 feet, 3 inches. What okay. do you think? I'll try to get it right okay. in the hole. Yeah, okay. If you, yeah. <laughs> By the way, are you nervous at all? This is for a million bucks. Uh, only nervous if you get it in. Is that what you said? I might be more nervous if I knock this insider 
and not get the money. I see. You know, it'll be a long ride home. It will be a long walk home, maybe. Okay, <laughs> yeah. step up there and hit it. From 180 yards away, he's had two aces. This hole has actually been aced three times in the nine years of this golf course. The last time by a woman. Bill is shooting for a million dollars. Well, it's going to be a little bit left and a little bit long. I switched clubs. You did? Yeah. You weren't supposed to do that. Your first two were pretty good. I know. Well, at least it'll be a good ride home. Yeah, well, she, one you're one right, you're right. she'll allow you to ride home in the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so I'm still holding up the male side of yeah. things. Yeah. Let me ask you, Mary, <laughs> were, were, were you nervous? No, Shoot. actually more comfortable in the last one because I knew the distance a little better. Uh-huh. Well, obviously it looks like that from the results. <laughs> Yeah. Marion, thanks very much for joining us, Bill. Appreciate it very much. Thank and uh, hey, don't forget to join us next week when we'll have another couple of shots for $1 million. send it to Gulf New England, care of the Atlantic Production Group, 1347 Tremont Street, Duxbury, Massachusetts, 02332. If your name is drawn...